Hey, what's up everybody? Today's gonna be a quick video that kind of relates to last week's video. So if you missed it, click at the link in the description below. So recently I was working with a customer and we noticed a lot of warning messages in their VM kernel logs where they were getting the VMSFS partition is marked perennial reserve. So if you're getting this message, stick around. I'll show you how I modified the script from last week's video to make the necessary changes to resolve this issue. Let's pull up uh, the diagram of the data store configuration. I obviously can't simulate what the customer was experiencing. So what I did is I went ahead and created two data stores, data store one and data store two. Data store one has a single LUN backed by it, while data store two has four LUNs backed by it. And if we pull up vSphere, data store one has a single LUN. And if we click on data store two, it has four LUNs. We're gonna be focusing on ESXi, 06 and 07 in the compute cluster. This is the script that will set the perennial reserve to false on your VMFS data stores. Let's go ahead and connect to our vCenter environment, highlighting this code here, pressing F8. Go ahead and put in my credentials. And then we're gonna focus just solely on the compute cluster with ESXi 6 and 7. So if we select dollar sign VM host, we can see we have ESXi 06 and 07. So there are a couple ways we can pull logs from vCenter for our ESXi host. We can either, we can ship our logs to a syslog server and get them that way. We can SSH into each individual ESXi host, or we can use PowerCLI. In this case, I opted for PowerCLI and I'm using the get log commandlet. So this will return all the logs for each host. Go ahead and cancel that. With PowerCLI, we can use the where object and we can filter for specific text. In this case, it marked parentally reserved. So we go ahead and select this and press F8 and scroll back up, we can see ESXi 06, and we were able to isolate these warning messages, as well as ESXi 07. But notice that there's quite a bit of duplicates in here. So we can take this command a step further by using the select object commandlet with the unique parameter. And if we highlight the code and press F8, we can see we have ESXi 06, and we have our, our warning messages and ESXi 07. So now that we're seeing these in the logs, we can also confirm by highlighting the code below here and pressing F8. And as you can see, this is providing us some, some pretty good information here. So the format is we have S for single LUN and M for multiple LUNs. We have our ESXi hosts, we have our data stores here, and then we have the NAA IDs for those LUNs. And then we can see the status of the perennial reserved. So for example, ESXi 06, has a single LUN associated with data store 01, and data store 2 has multiple LUNs. You can see the four LUNs associated with data store 2. So in order to resolve this, what we have to do is scroll back up, uncomment out phase two here. We're gonna set the value to false. It's currently set to true. This if statement here is for the multiple LUNs, for the multiple LUNs, and this else statement is for the single LUNs. So we're gonna to have to comment out the same thing in phase two for the else block. Perfect. Now, if we select the code again and press F8, it's gonna go through and mark each VMFS partition to false. Now, if we scroll back down, I currently have all my logs stored in the NFS share in the scratch folder, and each folder has a unique name for the ESXi hosts. So what this command is gonna do is gonna create a new PS drive. We're gonna call it vSphere. And then we're gonna remove our VM kernel logs. So I'll go ahead and highlight this. It's gonna take a couple seconds to run. And once it's complete, it's gonna that VM kernel log file will be gone. All right, so we can confirm that this VM kernel file no longer exists because if we try to run this command to filter for that log, we're gonna get the error message saying that the VM kernel file was not found. So in order to recreate it, we can, we're gonna run this command and we're gonna also force E6i hosts to go ahead and do a rescan of the VMFS data stores. I'll go ahead and highlight both of these codes. We restarted the syslog service for both hosts and we're rescanning VMFS data stores and that's done. So now if we go ahead and rerun this, you can see we're no longer seeing the marked perennial reserved. Now there are stuff in this log because if we scroll back up and we run the return everything command, you can see stuff in here. It's just now, since we go in ahead and set the perennial reserve to false, it no longer shows up in the logs. And that's it, as easy as that. I will provide a link to the GitHub repository for both, both commands that we just discussed. So you will have access to this if you need to run this in your environment. You'll just obviously need to make some changes to some of the variables to match your environment. And that's it. If you have any questions, 
Drop them down in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button and consider subscribing. See you in the next video.